It's the last day of the regular season in the K and we got 11 games lined up for you. Let's see what's happening. My name is Andrea Sachinko and you're watching Daily KHL Update. We travel to Magnitogorsk first for a rivalry game. Matterwick play hells to Tractor. First period, Nikolai Kuleman gets the puck on a power play, gets closer to the net and shoots off the pipe. Later in the period, Andrei Chibisev has the biscuit and he goes coast to coast with it. Backhand shot and rookie Sergei Molikov catches it with his glove. He's playing his first career KHL game tonight. Magnitka throw one past him right after that. Simon Kashlev wires it home for his 11th of the year. on nothing home team. Tractor even it up with a power play goal four minutes into the second. Igor Polagalov snipes his third of the season. Marcel Shalakov with the only assist on the play. Madler converted a power play attempt as well after that. Sergei Mazakin nets his 10th marker of the season, while Sergei Plotnikov and Nikolai Prohorkin draw the apples. Tractor force overtime with a really late goal. The Rangers prospect Vitaly Kravtsov finds the back of the net with just 8 seconds on the clock. And Chalabin scored the winner just 47 seconds into the extra period. Amazingly enough, Madler got 0 for 6 in overtimes this season. Tractor take it 3-2 on the road. And now to Yekaterinburg, Rafts on the list face off against Sibir. It won't be a fun night for the host. Snowflakes get on the board just 90 seconds in. Nikita Sedikov nets his first for now, Sibirsk. Later in the period, Dan Saxton takes a Arista from the high slot and goes wide of the net. Nikita Kramkin tries to bury the rebound and Harry Sattery bails his team out. Second period now, Pavel Datsuk has a puck on a power play. He whips his magic and checks it to the far post, but Brooks Masek is stopped by Sattery. Sibir doubled their lead shortly before the intermission. Great feed by Mikhail Rochman and Alexander Sharov hits the twine. They go on to score another one, eight minutes into the third. Nikita Shashkov makes a cross ice pass. Vladislav Ushen goes for the clapper, and it's in. And soon after that, Alexander Sharov scores his second of the game and eighth of the year to bag it. Harry Sattery stops 43 shots and Sibir enjoys a solid 4-0 win on the road to close out the season. We're off to Yaroslavl now where Salavat Yulayev challenged Lokomotiv. The Veers to strike first. Least prospect Rudion Amir of Bitsi Lokomotiv up high with this excellent wrister. But look, a steamroll, no pun intended, over Salavat in the second. First, Pavel Kraskovsky sets up Maxim Osipov for a clapper and it's right on the money. Less than a minute later, Loko with a face-off in the offensive zone and former Flames peak Rushan Rafikov hits the target. Later in the period, Denis Alexeyev carries the puck in on the odd man rush, goes for the shot and Yuhi Metzler can't stop it, 3-1. And finally, Alexei Marchenko slams it home on a power play of Pavel Kraskovsky's third assist of the game. Lokomotiv sealed the season with a great win at home ice. 4-1 is your final. Possibly the biggest game of the night takes place in Kazan as Akbars dispute the top spot in the regular season with no other but Red Army. There's very little scoring in this one though. Muted through the second period, Anton Slepashev passes it to the blue line and Artem Sergeyev sends a rocket past out of right aboard. Third period now, Patrice Cormier barrels down the right wing and takes his shot. This one is absorbed by Lars Jukensen. Last minute of regulation, extra attacker is out there for Kazan. They throw everything they got on Johansson, but the sweet jams the door. He goes on to stop 29 shots and Red Army edge Ogbars on the road to win the Continental Cup as the top team of the regular season. one nothing is your final. How about a little preview for the playoffs now? SKA St. Petersburg meet Dynamo Minsk. Should the Virsters lose this one, they will meet SKA in the opening round. Army Man opened up the score in late in the first. Oscar Fontenberg delivers the puck to Emil Galimov and he rifles it home on the short side. They double their lead shortly after that. Mir Altenen gets the puck in the high slot and snaps his tenth of the year. 
Second period now as Kiev on a power play and they increase their lead to 3 0. Ivan Marazov hits the target while Kirill Marchenko gets the only assist of the play. Dynamo make things interesting early in the third. Minsk win a face up in the offensive zone and Denis Pasalov drives it home right away. And in the very next shift, they make it a one goal game. Zach Mitchell gets his second assist of the game. Masalov draws another one, and Francis Perev beats Alexander Simonov. But SKA don't let it slip away from them. Ivan Morozov can beat Danny Taylor on a partial break, but Galima buries the rebound for his second of the night. That's all they're gonna need. SKA win 4 2 and will meet Dynamo a few days later in game one of the opening round series. We drop anchor in Riga, Latvia now, where Dynamo finishes the season with Amor. The Tigers get things going with the power play goal seven minutes into the game. Dmitry Arhipov gets the tally, while Valentin Pinov and Dominic Mashin are credited with the assists. Second period now, Mix Indrashis makes a pass through the slot. Evgeny Grachov shoots, and rookie Timur Shiyanov makes a fantastic save. This is the first career KHL game for the goalie, too. Dynamo get back even five minutes into the period as they can run on a man advantage as well. Dennis Parshin goes stop. Jeez, what a shot. Later in the period, 4-4 four four hockey glabs around a pass it to Daniels Berzinch and he's robbed by Shiyanov. Great effort by the Rook to keep it a tie game. Parshin puts Dynamo in the lead with another power play goal before the period expires. Might be the easiest marker of his career. Amor tied up seven minutes into the third. Alexander Sharov nets his fifth of the year off a great feed by Alexander Kuznetsov. It's a 2-2 hockey game and it goes to overtime. Alexander Polunin gets the puck and open nice sells pass but goes for a filthy move and wins it for Hamaras. The Tigers finish the season on a bright note. 3-2 is your final. And there are just a few more scores left to tell you about. Dynamo Moscow sword Pascal and Lone Red Star 5-1 on the road. Alexander Osipov scored 11 seconds into overtime and Neftekimik edged their bet out 3-2. Is there now scored three points to get to 40? Ilya Kovalchuk had a goal and an assist, and Avangard beat Boris 5 2 on home ice. Vitis got the bat of Spartak Moscow. 5 3 was the final on this one. Kaspers Dalgamich with the winner on the penalty shot. And finally, Severstal enjoyed a 4-2 win over Sochi on the road. Andre Alexeyev picked up two points. And that's it for your KHL update, but do come back this Tuesday for the playoffs. Should be a fun day of hockey. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.